Hey guys, welcome to The Fumble. I'm Britt Johnson. For more sports news and commentary, make sure you click subscribe and don't forget to follow me on all social media at I am Britt Johnson. In week five of this season, we saw just how petty Tom Brady was after he yet again did not shake hands with Nick Foles after the Bears beat the Bucks 20 to 19. Most chalked it up to the fact that we are in a pandemic and Tom Brady most likely didn't want to shake hands post game. However, just a week later, when the Bucks beat the Packers, Tom Brady sprinted over to shake hands with Aaron Rodgers immediately following the matchup. Which begs the question is Tom Brady a sore loser? I'll answer that one for you real quick. Heck, yes, he is. And here's some more of the biggest sore losers in sports. First, attitude reflects leadership, so if we talk Tom Brady, we gotta follow it up with his former head coach, Bill Belichick, who, if you saw sore loser in the dictionary, you would see Bill Belichick's picture right next to it. He is such a bad loser that he called out his own former wide receiver, Wes Walker, for an illegal hit in an AFC championship game when they were playing the Broncos. But, um, excuse me, sir. You are the last person to call anyone out for cheating, and to be clear, nobody saw that as an illegal hit but you. Next, we have Serena Williams. Now, Serena is undoubtedly the GOAT, one of the best tennis players to ever play the game. She has won seven Australian Opens, three French Opens, six US Opens, and seven Wimbledon titles just in singles alone. This is not even mentioning what she's won in her doubles. Plus, she has also won four gold medals, and I am not even scratching the surface for her awards. But when Serena loses, it's pretty bad, as she literally has called out officials, she has cussed people out, and honestly, most of it has been within good reason. Our next sore loser is actually an entire team minus John Sally, who was reportedly the only member on that team to stay behind to shake hands during the Eastern Conference Finals when the Bulls beat the Pistons. The entire roster, other than Sally, walked off the court and did not do any handshakes after the game, which was one of the most disrespectful things we've seen in our day on the hardwood. Almost 30 years later, we are still talking about it thanks to the last dance that opened up the wounds again. And last but certainly not least, we gotta head over to the most passionate sports team, the U.S. women's soccer team, who led the way and is one of the best women's soccer teams to ever play the game. But one team member in particular I had to call out for being a sore loser, and that is Hope Solo. We never saw too much of her being a sore loser because her team didn't lose too often, but the first glimpse we got of it was actually something that happened off the field in 2011 when she was on Dancing with the Stars and got eliminated. Woo! When this girl got eliminated, was she furious. She was visibly upset about it and it was not cool to watch. She looked like she was about to cuss everybody out. And then just eight months later, we saw her become a sore loser when it came to soccer. So her former teammate Brandy was actually doing um, the broadcasting for a game that was Hope Solo and her teammates were playing in in the Olympics. And she said something negative about the team and Hope Solo called her out on Twitter and said that she was uneducated and all of that kind of stuff and it was kind of crazy to watch and I realized in that moment I definitely did not want to be on her bad side. So what other athletes do you guys think are big sore losers? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, click subscribe, and shop the Fumble Surf the latest game day gear. I'm your host, Britt Johnson for the Fumble, and I'll see you guys soon.